What is up guys, it's Aprox here and today I want to show you how exactly do you get an infested companion as well as what the best one is, at least for me anyway. From what I've seen, the days where your pet dies robbing you of his fetch ability are over. But before we jump in, I just want to say I'm truly thankful for all the support that you guys have shown. Just know that all the little things you do to support the channel don't go unnoticed, everything you do means truly a lot. I remember just over a week ago, this channel was at 29 subscribers and now there's over a hundred of you that have shown faith and chose to stick around for my jibber jabber. And for that, I thank you. Now moving on to the actual video, to get any of the infested companions, you'll first need to capture a weakened specimen. Make sure to utilize pheromone glands before using Allure to attract rare species. Let the surrounding infested attack your target first before you tranquilize so it becomes weakened. In many cases it'll try escaping when it spots an enemy, so be ready to go after it in case it does. Once you've got yourself a desired specimen, you'll need to go back to Sun and Necrolisk and combine your weakened capture with mutagens and antigens. Mutagens offer different types of resistances, but their impact is very insignificant, so pick a side effect of your preference as a cosmetic. Antigens condition your pet with a specific polarity, making this choice a bit more important. I prefer having either Vazarin or Madurai on mine. As all modular items in the game, these companions require gilding, it'll cost you 10 sun tokens after you've leveled it up, and any of your rank 30 or gilded companions can be donated to sun at any time, in exchange for 10 and 15 sun tokens respectively. Each companion comes with a set of mods unique to their species, called precepts. Sly subspecies, which come with survival instinct, that'll increase your and its own evasion by 40% for 8 seconds or until your next attack after you kill an enemy, and Slide Evolution, which will put your companion in larvae state upon death, with a lesser evasion buff of just 20%. Crescent subspecies has a crescent charge, making it charge at an enemy within 10 meters, dealing 200 puncture damage and lifting them up for up to 8 seconds. Damage against those enemies is amplified by 100%. And Crescent Evolution, which puts your companion into larvae state upon death, and larva will still charge enemies within 10 meters, dealing 100 puncture damage. And my favorite, Panzer Volpophila species, which come with viral quills that shoot 6 quills at enemies within 20 meters, dealing 60 viral damage each with a 40% status chance. If a target has a viral proc on it, this will also add a spore to that enemy. And Panzer Devolution, which puts it into larvae state upon death, it'll still spit quills at enemies but with no status chance or spores. All Devolution mods will respawn your Volpophila after 30 seconds when it becomes a larvae. Now for predicides, we have Vizier subspecies that come with Acidic Spittle, which makes it spit an Acidic Thar at an enemy within 30 meters, blinding them for 12 seconds and dealing 120 corrosive damage, and Dietaric Mycelium that releases spores every 8 seconds, healing all allies for 300 health over 5 seconds. Pharaoh predicides that come with Endoparasitic Vector that sends a parasite to an enemy within 30 meters, that grabs enemies in 5 meter radius, slowing them down and dealing 20 viral damage per second over 5 seconds, and anabolic pollination which releases spores for 6 seconds that'll increase all allies toxin damage by 100%, and magi subspecies which come with infectious bite that allows it to perform finisher kills dealing plus 200% damage to enemies, infecting them with volatile virus. If a target survives, it'll then grow spores that absorb taken damage and release it after 3 seconds, and Paralytic Spores, which makes it charge an enemy within 30 meters, dealing 160 damage, stunning them for 3 seconds and leaving them open to finishers. All of these companions are great, some more useful than others, but Vulpophila specifically are clearly a no-brainer for longer endurance missions, where all the others simply wouldn't survive. For me, the best out of all of them must be the Panzer Vulpophila, because of its viral damage, status chance and ability to put spores on enemies, that also doubles up as a healing synergy. These spores will spread the same way as sarins do, making almost every enemy in the room have a viral proc on them. The baseline for my Zero Forma build is Viral Quills and Panzer Devolution for Viral Procs and Invincibility, Synth the Constructor and Hunter Recovery to synergize its healing capabilities with spores, Synth Fiber, Link Health and Pack Leader for survivability, Fetch for picking up items, even though it's a little buggy at times, it'll be active almost all the time, since Vulpophilas never die. And for the last two available mod slots, you can use whatever you'd like, as long as you don't remove any of the previous ones. 
dual stat mods like Venom Teeth don't seem to increase the status chance for viral quills, but it doesn't really matter since almost all enemies will have a viral proc on them anyway. Anyways guys, that was it for me on Infested Companions, I hope you find this information useful. And as always, this has been Aprox, thank you for your eyeballs and I'll see you in the next one. I'm gonna have to put some Yu-Gi-Oh cards in my cat and see what happens.